Hi guys and ladies, I found a great recipe online for catfish. Uh, trouble is, I'm terrible at fishing for them, so let's try to catch bass or bluegill, my favorite fish. It'll be a test today because we're in the middle of a summer drought and the lake is down over a foot. In fact, I better get out there and fish while there's still some water left. I'm gonna make my first cast right here off the dock. I used this lure this spring when fishing was easy. It's called a craw dads by a company named Z-Man Lures. It's attached to a jig head called a shrooms. And for you fishing tackle fans, check out the description box below because I'll list all of the info there. Now let's get out on the lake. It's been threatening rain most of the day. It just makes some thunder and nothing ever happens. Oh, here we go again. More little bass. Well, like I say, two fillets. I'm getting out of here. We could do this tomorrow. Here it is the next day. I had to go in yesterday. The lightning was just too much, and that's dangerous. Uh, but I need fish for dinner today. So let's continue this uh, fishing expedition. Little one. <laughs> Two fillets. <sighs> Got a fish. Right at the boat. <laughs> a little bigger but nothing to write home about. Still, it makes great food. This rain is back again. I have to get back in. Well, here we are in the boathouse waiting out the rain. I've got a few fish and a lot more in the freezer, of course, but fresh is always better. Look at it. There's just enough rain to annoy me and wreck my weekend plans, but not enough to solve the drought. Got a little one, as usual. <laughs> Woo! All right, they're biting, all right. Perfect for eating. It's still raining, but I just had to get out. I have to catch these fish, and I did. <laughs> Thunder. It's raining and thundering, and that means lightning. I'm gonna have to go in after this cast. I got one. Yep. Yep, person. <laughs> got another good eater. Good eater. I think it's under 12 inches, and those are the ones we have to call away out of the lake. They're coming out. Yikes. 11 and 7 eighths, just in the zone of good eats. <laughs> it's raining too hard. I've got to get in the house and start filleting these fish. Counting yesterday, I've got a total of five fish. That's 10 fillets plus I've got fish in the freezer and I need to start dinner. Oh, I have a special guest coming tonight. You guessed it, Miss Lulu Cheeks. Looky here, it's later today, and I managed to get over a pound of bass fillets before stormy weather drove me in. I even added a couple more fillets from the freezer, but that's overkill. Right now, let's work on a zucchini side dish. So I bought three zucchini, and all I have to do is cut them lengthwise in quarter inch strips. In this measuring cup, I'm just going to add a quarter cup of olive oil. Now, a teaspoon of garlic powder. Let's go with a half teaspoon of salt. Now, a big half teaspoon. 
of Cajun seasoning and a half teaspoon of pepper. Let's mix it well. Here is our first layer. Looks just like paint. This is what I use to stain my porch with. I'm just adding a second layer. Now I'm applying the Cajun to our second layer. Our zucchini are ready for the grill or if it doesn't stop raining, the broiler. Let's get on with the fish now. Here, all I have is a gallon plastic bag. Here I have low carb onion breadcrumbs. I'm going to put three tablespoons of that into the bag. I'm totally winging it here. Here I've got almond meal. It's low carb. I'm going to add, oh, three or four tablespoons of this into the bag. That's not enough. So I'm going to go two more. That's six tablespoons. So in the bag, I'm going to put two teaspoons of Lowry's seasoned salt. Now let's put in there a teaspoon of garlic powder. Maybe a little more. Don't be cheap. Let's, let's go with almost a teaspoon of crushed red pepper. So now I'm adding a teaspoon of onion powder. Now I'm going to add a couple teaspoons of oregano. Okay, now I'm going to add, oh, about a teaspoon of chili powder. Let's just shake it all up. So the directions say to put one catfish fillet in at a time. Well, we don't have catfish, we have bass. Let's put one, two in. I hope that's not too much. And then we'll shake it. I don't know if this is going to work. Let's see what happens. Shake off that excess because we need it. Hey, it looks good. It's coated. <laughs> smells good. Shake it off. All right. <laughs> I'm done. It smells good. Whoa, 450. I'm going to lay these on the grill. Now I've oiled the grill a little. It's flipping time. Woo! Get long tongs. These look quite good. I just had an idea. I'm going to put a couple of the big fillets directly on the main grate. The other ones, we'll use this. I'm flipping them. Ready or not, they're coming out. Not bad. While I have a minute, I might as well tell you all I've been in love with Miss Lulu Cheeks, my guest tonight, for 50 years now. And yet she's never suggested marriage to me. I'm sure she would be so much better off married to me. And I need to point out to her well, the positives of married life. I'm going to be bold and I'm going to do it tonight. Well, here we are once again with the famous celebrity restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks. Thank you so much for uh, coming by my tacky trailer house tonight. And um, you had a chance to partake in my dinner of which is called Bayou Fish Fillets. You know, that was adapted from a catfish recipe. And I had some trouble catching it because of the, the rains mm. and lightning. And, um, and then you had the grilled zucchini. So what did you think? It was delicious. I, and I enjoyed the fish very much and the flavoring was really good on the outside really? and everything. And I thought the zucchini, mm -hmm. I, I, it's hard to cook vegetables on the grill. So you did a really great job. Oh, thank yes. you. Thank you so much. Um, Miss Cheeks, oh, I can say uh, Lulu now? Sure. Oh, sure. thank you. Uh, <clears throat> if we ever get married, um, I want you to know that I want to share all your worries and your troubles and lighten your burdens. I don't have any worries or troubles. Oh. Well, that's because we're not married yet. Uh, can I have a hug?